So you have to give your energy in order to get some energy that literally don't make no sense. You got to give energy to, to, to Jesus and God to get some energy back. I'm just spinning my story and it be shit like that. Huh? All that tough talk, what? you ain't built like that. What? You ain't hopping the shit, man, bring that shit man, back. Huh? You ain't been in the... <clears throat> Hey, hold up. Be okay in this motherfucker. It's gonna be okay in this motherfucker. Like, comment, subscribe, share, dislike, do all that. Do something, though. Show some love, right? Check this out. <clears throat> um, Y'all know when y'all see the cross, when y'all see the cross, you know when you see the cross, if you flip it upside down, what do the cross look like? Ask yourself, what is the Bible always talking about? The Bible is always talking about swords, right? So if you flip that mug upside down, it looked like a sword. <laughs> so check it out, right? You may say, why? I mean, okay, it looked like a sword, but what is the relevance? Like, that? why does that hold any weight? I'm about to tell you why. Because you have to realize, in the Bible, he was talking about swords, armor boots, and shields, and all of this stuff, right? So obviously he wanted you to use a sword for something, right? Wanted you to knock somebody off, right? There's water in my eye. Wanted you to knock somebody off, right? And so you gotta ask yourself, who are you trying to get me to knock off with this sword and shield, right? Y'all know it's a song called Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Oh, baby, let my people go. Huh. Yeah, like literally they were making chants about telling pharaohs to let their people go. You know? So what's happening is, I guess, you tell me, but in the Bible, they want to attack pharaohs and um, different people goddesses and gods because they don't want them to be empowered you know what i'm saying so you put a bible right here for individuals to read so that they can get their spiritual aspect throughout life but you remove people's freedom by forcing this book in front of their face Enforcing um, the subliminals at every store. You feel what I'm saying? You can't go to no store. Hold on, boss. Man. Can't go to no store and see no Egyptian stuff unless it's being used for something. You understand what I'm saying? That don't exist. So um, realize that. Um, Um, like I said, a lot of the times, and y'all using that sword is double edged because there's no handle on it. You see what I'm saying? You flip it upside down. Each each end of the sword is still a point. You see what I'm saying? So there's a point to having this sword, right? Right? There's a point. So either way, I mean, at the end of the day, you can use the Bible and swords to your advantage you know what i'm saying the armory and the plate of steel and all that to your advantage because there's a point to the sword but at the end of the day um it's double-edged so you're only gonna get so far you understand what i'm saying uh like i said at the end of this there is no handle it's just two two ended like <laughs> Two, two, you understand what I'm saying? Two ends that coincide with one another. It's, there's nothing different. So, like I said, they, uh, 
gave you this. Specific people gave you this so that you wouldn't be empowered, bro, by yourself. You feel me? You have to be empowered by another entity. You feel me? Outside of yourself. So you have to give your energy in order to get some energy that literally don't make no sense. You got to give energy to, to, to Jesus and God to get some energy back. That's ridiculous. You feel me? So at the end of the day, um, like I said, y'all got to realize that that sword is to A, take take you and to B take uh, the Pharaoh and them so everybody the, that that book is specifically here to take everybody 